Welcome to the show. Today we have star keeper Brian Byers on from the men's soccer team to talk a little bit about his first season here at USAO. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Welcome to the show. Today we have starting keeper Brian Byers from the men's soccer team on the show to talk a little bit about the regular season as it winds down. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So guys are undefeated in the conference right now, only three losses on the season. So tell me how the season's going. Um, season's been going good, you know. Um, no, we, no I, everyone had like high expectations for the season. We wanted to go undefeated and we did it. So it's been, it's been great. We have, at the time of filming, just two conference games left in the regular season. One at home and one away at Oklahoma City, so that could be a tough one. Um, what, what do you see for the next couple games? Um, I think the game today against SNU will you know, be a good game. We'll uh, you know, show everyone that we can still go undefeated and we'll get the job done. And then the game at Oklahoma City, it would be you know, my old club coach. Was, he's the assistant coach, so it'll be, it'll be interesting. So we'll, I think we'll be able to get the job done there, too. So. Okay, great. Um, and the win at John Brown kind of clinched the regular season um, Sooner Athletic Conference champions for um, for you guys. So how did that feel in your first year here? Uh, it was good. Um, it was really exciting, you know, being a freshman and all, you know, redshirt freshman. So, you know, when conference my first year, you know, that's, you know, I guess that's saying something. So, you know, it was really exciting. You know, all, all the boys enjoyed it. You know, it was, a, it was a fun three and a half hours back on the bus. So it was good. I bet it was. And that was the first time both of our, our teams had won at John Brown. Yes, that's what I heard. So in a long time. And so far you have 10 wins and six shutouts. So what's kind of clicking for you this season? Uh, I don't know. It's been going. It's been a good season. You know, I have everyone on the team to help me, you know, back me up. You know, I got from the forwards, you know, down to the back line. You got, you know, Chris Lee, you got John Gardner, you got Scott Parkinson, you know, all, Sam Shattuck, all them back there helping out. So and just when it gets past them, I just got to do my job and go on. So. Well, John Gardner and Scott Parkinson are back-to-back -back Sooner Athletic Conference Defensive Players of the, of the Week. So we definitely have a good good team backing yes, you up yes, back do, there. Yes, we do. You're one of only two Americans on our team that's full of international students. Mm -hmm. So what's that like for you? Uh, it's, it's nice. It's really fun. It's interesting. You know, you get to you know, sometimes I can't understand what they're saying half the time, but, you know, you, you, you go along with it, you know, you enjoy it. It's a lot of fun, so. Good. And the other one is Tyler Groh. I guess he's your roommate? Yes. And longtime friend and teammate? Yes, since like four. So it's been, you know, been through it all, I think, so. Well, that's great. That's great. Do you guys fit in with the team and they make you feel um, as welcome as, as they make their other international students? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's just like... Everyone has open, loving arms, so you know we all fit in like a big family and get along. And you know it's it's really it's all it's always fun with all the boys. This is your first year at USAO. How did you find us? How did you get here? You know, Coach Hampton, and Coach Lexi. Uh, you know, they've been my club coaches for a while. Lexi's been my keeper coach for don't know how long, ten years and stuff. So you know, been around him and stuff, and come up here a couple times to train and stuff. And then so I decided to come here and play. So it's yeah. good. And you found your way here after spending a year redshirting at a D2? Yes, at Midwestern State in Wichita Falls, Texas. Yeah, I was down there and, you know, I didn't get to play and I just wanted to play, so that's why I decided to come here. Just a freshman, but you're planning on double majoring, mm -hmm. um, so tell me about that. What... Uh, doing physical education, you know, so I can get my, so I can coach and stuff, and then doing a business so I can, you know, have something, that, something else to do, so I'll just have to coach for the rest of my life and stuff, so it'll be good, you know, have something to fall back on. Great. Well, thank you for being on the show, and I look forward to seeing you guys in playoffs. Yeah, thanks for having me. Sure. Now it's time for Fan of the Week. If you want to be Fan of the Week, make sure to like our In the Saddle link each week on our USAO Drovers Fan Facebook page. Each week, we pick our Fan of the Week who wins an awesome t-shirt and is recognized on our show and on Facebook. Last week's Fan of the Week was soccer mother Sherry Matlock. Again, congratulations. This week's Fan of the Week is Dolan Levine. Congratulations.
It's starting to get a little chilly out here, so fall is definitely in the air. And that means soccer playoffs and, of course, Drover basketball. Don't forget about Drover Madness at 6.30, November 1st. You're going to want to be there. There's free food, free t-shirts, and fun games and contests for all our fans. Don't forget to check usao.edu sports for our postseason soccer schedule. We'll see you next time on In the Saddle.